Hello friends, welcome to Insights Again Initiative. One small thing to you is, actually this video is supposed to be published on Tuesday evening, but due to very heavy rain in Hyderabad, we had a lot of uh, power disturbances. So because of that, I am unable to publish this video on Tuesday night. So most probably you will see this video either on the Wednesday mornings or afternoon. Okay. So I'm really sorry for the delay. And I think some of my Karnataka students also they are busy yesterday in voting as well. I hope you exercise your vote. And today's video, what we are going to discuss, we are going to discuss about coral bleaching. Okay, mass coral bleaching. You might have know that. You already know the concept of corals. Okay, then what's the additional things we are going to discuss in this video? First, as usually, we'll discuss not only about the coral, we will discuss about in which area in India coral reefs are present. Then we will discuss can we see coral reefs? in deep water also and can coral reef coral bleaching will happen even if temperature decreases also and we will also discuss about what is a mass bleaching okay sometimes we, we use this word coral mass, ble mass bleaching which organization will announce coral mass bleaching and what are the global initiatives regarding the coral conservation all these things we are going to discuss as we travel in this video okay so these are the components now first we will look into the so this uh, syllabus map i mean this video components syllabus mapping this is related to gender studies paper 3 environment in this video we are going to discuss about the context hard versus soft coral shallow versus deep waters types of coral reefs ideal environmental conditions required for coral reefs and what is the significance of coral reefs what are the global initiatives to conserve coral reefs coral reefs in india coral bleaching and fourth mass coral bleaching so these are the areas we touch upon in this video okay now let's see the context the icar and the central marine fisheries research institute that means these both organizations together they given this report that is coral reefs in lakshadweep they have undergone severe bleaching due to the prolonged marine heat waves since october 2023 so this is the statement so this context is very particular regarding the coral bleaching in Lakshadweep. In this context, we will try to quickly revise the concept of coral reefs as a whole. It is going to be useful in your upcoming UPSC, CSC prelims. First, we have to understand what is the meaning of coral. Okay, well, actually the coral is a combination of organisms. Coral consists of both animal as well as a photosynthetic plant, you can call it as not exactly the plant, but algae. Okay, so here two things are present. That means polyp as well as the algae. This polyp gives the protection, whereas algae will synthesize the food with the help of photosynthesis. Okay, so algae gives the food to polyp, and polyp gives the protection. In this way, when one organism is depending on another organism, that type of relationship is known as either the symbiotic relationship or the mutualism. So, coral reef is a coral is a best example of mutual relationship or symbiotic relationship. Okay, so coral and corals exhibit the mutual relationship. If so many corals together, coral polyps, okay, like hundreds and thousands, then that form as a coral reef. Okay, coral reef. Actually, coral reef can be formed only by the hard corals. So here you have to know there are two types of corals: soft corals and hard corals. Generally, hard corals means they form a kind of okay, a thick thick skeleton kind of substance which is made up of calcium carbonate that is known as hard coral hard coral gives the coral reefs whatever the coral reef you might have heard about like great barrier reef and all these things they form due to hard coral shallow and deep water this is also one of the area most of the time it bothers the students generally corals prefer to uh, thrive in shallow water that means water with less less depth but you should also remember that coral reefs can also present in deep water also. Then you may get doubt. What about the sunshine? Here, the deep water coral reefs, they don't depend on algae, which is depend on the photosynthesis. That means, these deep water coral reefs, they grow very slowly and they contain different types of algae compared to the shallow water coral reefs. That means, you should remember that coral reefs present not only in shallow water, they are also present in deep water. Actually, most, most commonly questioned areas are number one, 
whether the coral reefs are present in the deep water or shallow water both and the second thing is in which regions coral reefs present most misconception with students is generally students thinks that coral reefs present only between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn no coral reefs present across across the tropics as well that means we can see coral reefs even in the temperate regions as well okay except in the severe freezing conditions you can see corals across the globe that is also one of the thing you have to tell i mean you have to know so one question to you here of course i will explain that question as well uh, during the course of the video can you see coral reef in rivers can you see corals in rivers as yes or no okay next and this deep sea uh, the coral corals okay generally they present around sea mounts okay they present around sea mounts you have to know what are these sea mounts sea mounts are nothing but underground or under sea mountains it do those mountains might be formed due to the volcanic activity or some other reasons also these under sea mountains are known as sea mount generally surrounding the sea mounts you will have this kind of deep water corals next types of coral reefs based on where the coral reefs are present and based on the distance from the sea shore based on their formation we can classify coral reefs into three types fringing reef atoll reef barrier reef fringing reef actually fringing reef means these are the coral reefs they start from the sea shore and they will go towards the sea okay same like this here okay they start from the the sea shore and they go towards the sea this is known as fringing reef okay generally in the fringing reef you don't find that kind of lagoon so very rarely whereas barrier reef so barrier reef means here there is a space between the sea shore and the coral reef so there is a chance that this water near the sea shore this water might be separated from the open ocean that means you can see a clear lagoons lagoons between the sea shore and the coral reef so this is the best condition this is the best thing you will see in the great barrier reef barrier reef barrier reefs are formed certain distance from the sea coast so that this kind of lagoon you will see lagoon is nothing but a water body which is separated from the open ocean that is known as lagoon and third type is atoll generally atolls are present in the open ocean that means surrounding the oceans surrounding the atoll uh, uh, you know like in all the direction you will see the ocean so here atoll means generally it forms around the submerged mountains or submerged volcanic mountains in this way in the ring like structure atoll will be formed of course atoll also creates a lagoon but in the open ocean it is not related to sea shore so you have to know the difference between these three different types of reef fringing reef barrier reef and atoll reef so these are the fundamental differences i hope you understood regarding this and the lagoon means water which separated from the open ocean because of the reef that is known as lagoon actually these lagoons are very ideal for this tourism and all these things and coral reefs because they are nearby this sea shore especially the fringing reef and barrier reef even they can stop the speed they can stop the or they can reduce the speed of the tides or speed of the high tides in that way they play very important role in the protection of coastal area you can call it as okay so this is the classification regarding the coral reefs then so ideal environmental conditions which conditions are required for the thriving of coral reefs obviously shallow water most of the times but don't be in the misconception that they are present only in the shallow water no they are present in the deep water as well semi hard surface obviously because they can use that semi hard surface as a base they can grow very quickly next clean water generally because clean water gives that kind of transparency and it is without any uh, chemicals so that algae can easily grow in the clean water warm water generally ideal for the photosynthesis of course in the cold water also this coral can be present but for the better growth warm water is there 
saline filled water it requires salinity coral reefs cannot be find in the fresh water that is the reason you won't see coral reef in rivers it requires the saline water brackish water and can you find the coral reefs in estuaries you have to tell can you find coral reefs in estuaries next rich supply of nutrients for the algae these are the ideal condition required for the growth of coral reefs india generally has coral reefs in following regions gulf of mannar andaman nicobar islands lakshadweep islands and the gulf of kutch generally students under the impression that coral reefs are present only on the eastern coast of the india not exactly on the western side of the india also you can find the coral reefs but across the globe the general tendency is coral reefs ideally present on the eastern coast of the continents because of the warm conditions next what is the coral bleach actually you know these coral reefs are very sensitive any slight change in the temperature of the ocean or acidification of the ocean it may result to change in the behavior of the algae that means the algae present in the polyp it may go out of that polyp that means the algae which is giving a good color and good food good food to the polyp okay this algae will go out of this polyp that is the reason during the when algae goes out of this coral reef that algae appears white color that is known as coral bleaching here you have to remember one thing that is even though coral bleaching happens still you can revive that coral reef but if it goes beyond that extent if there is a coral death okay then we can't bring them back into normal condition that is the difference you have to understand this is the water condition do not, if the water condition do not improve then the bleached coral will become black and unable to recover so bleached coral can be recovered and stressed coral means the slowly algae outgoing is started that is known as stressed coral if it is continuous bleaching and if it is further continuous it is known as dead coral so this is known as coral bleaching when corals subjected to stressful condition algae will expel out of this coral polyp that is known as coral bleaching causes of the coral bleaching all these are the potential reasons for the coral bleaching they are the warm sea temperature this is especially happening due to el nino condition wherever el nino conditions are there across the globe even in 2023 we have seen this kind of phenomena in western i mean eastern australia due to this el nino condition coral bleaching happened in great barrier reef extreme low tides extreme low tides will expose the coral reefs especially the coral reefs which are present near to the ocean i mean near to this uh, seashore such as fringing reef and the barrier reefs they will expose to the uv rays and they will die ocean acidification you know that oceans are great sink to the carbon so this oceans as the carbon dioxide levels in atmosphere increases ocean will absorb that carbon that level of carbon carbon increases that may affect the formation of the carbon calcium carbonate skeleton like structure by the coral reef and the coral reef may subjected to bleaching disease like vibrio shiloi they inhibit the photosynthesis of the zooxanthellae algae that may affect the coral growth ocean pollution because ocean pollution at attracts lot of phytoplankton towards the coral reefs coral reef may experience stress sedimentation which inhibits the clarity of water and the, it, there will be difficulty for photosynthesis to the algae anthropogenic threat due to agriculture and industries whatever the chemicals using in these activities that affects as well predators like acanthaster plant plancy these predators also will affect the coral reefs because they 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 live on the algae they eat this algae that is the reason coral reefs will be affected then what about the mass coral bleaching when you consider coral bleaching as a mass coral bleaching generally there are orga- there are certain organizations which declare whether it is a mass bleaching or not these organizations are national ocean and atmospheric administration nwa crw coral reef watch icri international coral reef initiative these organizations generally they declare a particular coral bleaching is a mass bleaching or not at the moment these organizations declared that we are seeing the fourth coral mass bleaching in the recent past in this decade 
we experienced even the third coral mass bleaching as well during the time of 2014 to 2017. Now this fourth coral mass bleaching it is happening from 2023. Now we are in 2024. This is mainly due to the heat waves and uh, conditions related to the El Nino. Why is the coral health is important? Because coral reef generally the termed as a rainforest of the oceans. It offers shelter to so many organisms. So it improves the biodiversity because of lot of nutrition availability even the fish attracted towards the coral reefs that means coral reefs presence is related to the fisherman activity that means it leads to fishing it attract lot of tourism as well we are seeing that kind of in maldives and the great barrier reef and lakshadweep coastline protection i already told you they play very great role in reducing the speed of the waves which are approaching towards the seashore global initiatives for coral reef protection these are the global initiatives and last videos mcq in which part of the indian constitution special provisions have been made for the sc and st and other backward classes and anglo indians in part 16 let's see today's video question today's video question is about consider the following statement regarding the coral reefs first statement they are formed by coral polyps held together by calcium carbonate second one they can be found only in tropical and subtropical water bodies third one they are highly adaptable organisms that can withstand harsh conditions of marine ecosystem fourth one gulf of mannar has the richest coral diversity in india pick the right statement main question in the era of high competition reservation in jobs and higher education i mean this question is related to the last video sorry so as we reach to the end of this video We'll do some quick revision. In this video, we mainly discussed about coral mass bleaching. In that context, we discussed about what is coral reef, soft versus hard coral, whether coral reefs can be found in shallow water and deep water, and in which conditions coral reefs can be present, types of coral reef, fringe reef, barrier reef, atoll reef. We discussed about all those things and which conditions are leading to coral bleaching, the significance of coral reefs, in which area of India coral reefs can be present. What are the global initiatives to protect the coral reefs? These are the areas we discussed in this particular video. I hope this video will helpful in your preparation. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.